if I depend my happiness based on things being peaceful or not, or if I depend my happiness, let's say that I meet, I meet somebody I like and I want to date them and have a relationship with them. If I based my happiness on her being liking me or not liking me or wanting to be with me or not wanting to be with me, then I'm in trouble. If I based my happiness on who's going to be the next U.S. president, whether there's going to be a pandemic, whether the weather, I like, I like the sun, I like warmth, that's what I like. I like warm weather, I like sunshine. But if I base my happiness on that, then only half of the time I'm happy. The rest of the time, I will be miserable. Is it making any sense for you? Yes, absolutely it is. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So, so you have... Karmic process, I guess. You so know. exactly. How? That's exactly it. How, how do I find this inner happiness all the time that's not depending on the outside world? Exactly. By recognizing that your mind your thoughts are objects and they don't have to cooperate with you for you to be happy your emotions your how you feel is another object and that has nothing to do with you being happy or not and definitely your physical body is another object and recognizing that anything that comes and goes cannot give you happiness. Anything that's changing. Mm -hmm. The world is changing. The people around you come and go. Weather changes. Politics changes. Mm -hmm. Things changing in life 24-7. Nothing remains the same, no matter what. And recognizing that my thoughts change, my emotions change, and my body changes. So these are all in relative reality. None of them are going to ultimately make me happy. So I have to go, I have to go beyond all of them. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Right. Thank and, you. That's very helpful. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. So I have to go beyond them. And how do I go beyond them? That's another question. And for me, I needed a living teacher. I needed somebody who walked the path to show me how to get there. Somebody else can find it out on their own. I needed someone to show me that. Because Papaji obviously found it, and I wanted what he had. I found this man has discovered peace. I mean, he seemed like a mountain. When I'm sitting in front of him, it was like sitting in the presence of... Mount Everest, he was like so huge, so big, and wasn't moving. It was still, he was still, it was like, sometimes I thought if I run into this room with a machine gun and start shooting around, is he going to react or if he's going to stay the way he is? And I thought nothing can move this guy. This guy is really established in the self. So he's not moving. And I wanted that. I knew that he got it. I didn't know what, you know, I'd heard all these words, freedom, enlightenment, blah, 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 blah. 
but they were they were just words but what i'm feeling with him is this guy he's the real deal he's really still he's become the buddha and he doesn't really give a damn what is going on in the world he's established in himself and i want that so the next 30 years of my life got dedicated in getting to where he was. That's what happened. And it was like, I'm not going to stop. I can't stop till I get to where he's at. Because nothing else is going to make me happy and nothing else is comparable to this. This is the real thing. Yeah, we go, you go beyond all of them. Well, what does that mean going beyond all of them? Means to recognize we, that's why we're, you, your attention turns inwards. So as the attention goes inwards, you're cutting through a lot of the BS because you're going in and you're going to discover the real you. And what is the real you doing? The real you is sitting here and is just looking. It's not making any judgments. It doesn't have any preferences. It's not trying to be somewhere else or someone else. The real you is simply witnessing. It's an eternal witness. The one who's aware, the one who's witnessing, the one who's here. And when you do some work on yourself, with the right teachings, right pointing out. And you get a glimpse of the real you. And you realize that the real you, when you were five years old, you had the same quality. Means the witness was there witnessing this five-year-old boy or five-year-old girl. The sense of I am was there in you when you were five years old. You don't know about spiritual work. You don't know about these, these things. But you're five years old. You certainly know that you are. There's no doubt in your mind that you don't exist. You're 10 years old. You're playing with your friends, your toys. You're playing a game, whatever it is. 